Boom! What's going on aviators? Andrew here and today I've got some exciting news for everyone regarding our October recap and November plans. There's a lot of ground to cover including the fundraiser we did last month and what we plan to do this month. So stick around for this video. So last month we launched a line of pink recolor decals all stamped with the breast cancer symbol on the clone's chest plates. We also released a special design that we affectionately named Commander Komen in honor of Susan G. Komen. 50% of all the profits from pink recolor sales went directly to donation to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, while 100% of the profits from Commander Komen sales were donated as well. I'm pleased to announce that throughout October we were able to raise $2,800 for donation. We did something similar to this in June where we raised $1,000 for donation to Black Lives Matter, but from now on I'd like to dedicate some sort of product or portion of sales to a new charity every single month. More on that in a few, by the way. So, continuing our October recap, in addition to the pink recolors that we launched, we had two bi-weekly recolors, four seasonal decal jobs, we hired on two new collaborators, and we finally launched the long-awaited return of the Ultimate Legion Pack. If you didn't know, the Ultimate Legion Pack, which we abbreviate as the ULP, was a product that we launched back in 2019 that included 14 printed figures, which were basically all the different clones we saw in the Umbara Saga. The main difference between this year and last year's ULP was that we had revolutionary wraparound arm printing on every single figure. No other company offers wraparound arm printing for their clones in its way, so we hope that these figures elevate the status quo of printed figure quality. The ULP sold out in just over a minute, so for those of you who didn't get a chance to snag them, throughout November we will be dropping individual listings for the figures in the pack, so you can buy them as standalone items. Unlike the ULP, these listings will not have pre-decaled helmets or printed heads and most of them will probably have regular printed arms instead of the wraparound printed arms that come in the ULP. This will make each individual figure more affordable than the fully decked out figures that come in the ULP. Release dates will be announced on Instagram and on Discord, so please make sure you're following us on those platforms as well. There's a link in the description below to join our Discord server. Throughout November, we have a variety of plans laid out. Before getting into those plans, I want to tell you guys a little story. So, two months ago, I went out to Los Angeles to have a birthday dinner with my sister. While walking from our car to the restaurant, I was approached by a homeless man who was asking for money. I gave him a $20 bill, and I also went with him to a Starbucks to get him some water and a sweet drink, but I couldn't help but wonder what he'd spend his money on. Um, to be honest, I was, I was really oblivious to what kind of life that he led. A few weeks later, I was reminded of the encounter, and I decided to look up what the life of a homeless person is like. So. I read several articles and comments from people who used to be homeless and made it back into society. Needless to say, life is extremely difficult for homeless people. For those of us who have never been homeless, all the things that we take for granted are absolute luxuries for homeless people. We get to think ahead, have clean clothing, wonder what we'll do tomorrow or plan for our future, but many homeless people don't even have the luxury of getting to think past what their next meal is going to be, where they're going to sleep tonight or how they replace the shoelaces as their shoes have fallen apart. It was really humbling knowing just how much we have and take for granted. So as a result, I decided that throughout November, we're going to dedicate 10% of our profits to donation, and the organization that we selected is the California Community Foundation. So the CCF goes above and beyond to transform the LA County by offering services in education, healthcare, advocation, and housing, which is arguably the most important thing a charity can provide for our homeless neighbors. To give you a better idea of what they do, here's a short video about them. We are individuals, families, communities, public servants, nonprofits, businesses, donors. We want a brighter future for Los Angeles County. And we're working hard to create it. Where there is silence, we raise a voice. Where there is need, we lend a hand. Where there are problems, we find collaborative solutions. We are advocates for change. Believers of dreams. Investors for tomorrow.
We are the California Community Foundation. 100 years of transforming generosity into impact. Join us in building Los Angeles together. So with the incredible support from this community and the revenue that this company drives, I'm positive that we can make a solid impact through our donations. This may be the first time we donate to this organization, but it certainly won't be the last. So, what are we planning to do in November to generate that revenue anyway? We have a variety of figures being dropped in various quantities this month, but some of the figures you can expect are 501st Troopers, 212 Troopers, Waxer, Boyle, Cody, Rex, Fives, Echo, Jesse in the Season 4 version, uh, Kicks, Hard Case, Tup, Apo, Dogma, Plain Grunt, Season 7 91st Troopers, 13th Battalion Troopers, Season 2 Mandalorian, and on Black Friday, a limited run of Shadow Commander Cody. So that's a pretty packed print queue as it is, but I'm positive that the sales that we bring in from this month are going to make a really strong impact. We also have a rather large lineup of prototype helmets coming in, including things like the Clone Engineer, Scuba Troopers, a version 4 of the Bad Batch helmets, uh, comms helmets like Commander Jet, and many, many others. A full list of those upcoming proto helmets is available on our Discord server in the pinned messages, so make sure you're on that. If all goes according to plan, we should be able to launch our first wave of injection molded helmets this month as well. We've had those in the works for quite some time, but we are finally reaching the final stage of production and we cannot wait for these new helmets to arrive. When they launch, we will simultaneously drop a new updated decal template designed to match the armor we see clones wear in Battlefront 2. Little known fact, the developers of Battlefront 2 completely reworked the appearance of clone armor, so it varies from the Revenge of the Sith armor appearance we see. I base my current template on the 112th Bandai action figure model. But seeing as Battlefront 2 is a new standard for canon clones, we've updated our templates to more closely match the appearance that they have in Battlefront 2. By default, all of our decals will now come with helmet decals that are meant for our injection molded helmets. So, what does that mean for those of you who prefer to decal on the official LEGO helmet? Well, don't worry. We'll be launching a product listing for every single individual helmet decal for official LEGO helmets in both Phase 1 and Phase 2. They will be 97 cents each with two sets of helmet decals included per sheet. We'll also continue to provide resin casts of the official helmets, so you don't have to worry about those going anywhere. Once again, the new template will launch at the same time as the injection molded helmets. We should be able to get them in by Black Friday, but delays happen in manufacturing all the time, but I'll keep you posted on when those are going to launch. Speaking of things launching, we are launching another charity-based product this month. Wednesday, November 11th is Veterans Day. Last year, we released a multi-cam clone trooper decal and a small amount of printed versions, but this year, we have an entire lineup of clone troopers in various camouflage patterns. We're also going to split 50% of the profits of these decals just like we did with the pink recolors and donate that 50% to the Wounded Warrior Project. They do incredible work bringing veterans along the journey to transition back into civilian life, so we're happy to do our part by offering a cool new product while also making an impact where we can. The last thing we have planned for November is our final wave of sets. We've gotten a lot of feedback from the sets that we've done in the past, like the ones that we see behind me. Uh, and a lot of it were negative remarks about things like the price and the turnaround time. While we honestly can't do anything to reduce the price, the profit margins are already slim enough as they are. We can make strides to reduce the turnaround time. Sets are, to say the least, a bit of a pain to produce, with a relatively low net profit for the amount of work that goes into them. They also come paired with a lot of criticism and blatant hate, so after this final wave of sets, we'll permanently discontinue sets and instructions. We're going to be sticking to decals, prints, and helmets, which are the bread and butter of this business. November will be the final month for you to purchase any instructions or stickers from our website. As a reminder, 50% of the instruction sales go directly to the designer of the build, so buying instructions from our website also supports community members for their hard work. Our final two sets are going to be Anakin and Obi-Wan Starfighters from Revenge of the Sith, featuring figures designed by NanoRex, builds designed by Ollie's Good Brick, and prints and packaging by AB Figures. Prices are to be determined, but we'll keep you posted on updates on that as well. So throughout November, you can expect the previously mentioned printed figures to come out, a new wave of prototype helmets, new decals for them, two new sets, camouflage decals whose profits will be split to donate to the Wounded Warrior Project, and a pledge to donate 10% of our profits this month to the CCF. I'm also pleased to report that we're taking measures to increase our accuracy when packing orders, and are experiencing fewer errors according to our users. We're far from perfect and are a brand new company, but are working to provide more accurate order packing and faster turnaround times for everyone. We're also making strides in answering customer service emails in a more timely manner, providing the service that you need more rapidly. Thank you guys for all the support as we grow this company to new heights. 
There's a lot in store for this month and in future months, so we hope you stick around for the ride. Always go above and beyond. Catch you later, aviators.